Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 7.13 a.m. It is Saturday, the 18th of November, and this is Bat Ears McGee. Yay, it's Mr. Confused Bat Ears McGee. He's getting older. I can't feel his individual vertebrae yet, but his fin is, yeah, his fin is getting a little fur. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. His fur is getting a little thinner, you know, and he's, you can see it up on his face too, where he's a little thinner, but he's still meaty, he's still a solid little guy, and he's, I don't know why still I call him bad ears, because with his ears crinkled up next to his head, that isn't bad ears, that's the opposite of having bad ears, but that's why I call him bad ears, because he crinkles his ears up next to his head. Now, hamsters are only supposed to do that when they're stressed out or irritated, but he just does it when he's tired. When he's asleep, he has his ears crinkled up, and as he wakes up, they just go into actual radar dish ears, actual bad ears. Here we go, little guy. Thank you so much. Back into your home. Yay. He's a good little guy. He's very, very active. In fact, if you see in the cages how these have... Uh, purple platforms and he's got one of the cages with a, a wheel a big wheel that he can actually run on Harold who's in this one that I don't even know why I keep it in there he doesn't run it's too small you can't run in it I've had hamsters that run on top of them so they can still run and it doesn't hurt them but he doesn't do a thing with it except well sometimes he sleeps under it so it's kind of a good thing but what bad ears will do, which Patches Jr., is he'll get up on his purple platform and then he'll leap down into his wheel from there. And then so he'll go boom and he'll go weep, 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 and then he'll start running in it. <coughs> Excuse me. I just finished eating two sandwiches, which is why I was so late. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. Horrible, horrible pain. Abdominal pain. I knew it was likely going to be bad when I went to bed because I had inklings. I wasn't sure because I'm getting older and I've got testosterone shots now. You know, finally, after all these years, I'm beginning to have age-appropriate prostate issues. So it's not always easy to fully empty my bladder, nor start a flow, nor keep it going. Thumbs up for that. So. Yay, TMI, probably, but still. But because of that, you know, it's now I've got those issues. What was I talking about that led me to that? Come on, hamsters? I can't remember. The trail of conversational breadcrumbs I, I've been picked up, and I can't remember what I was talking about that had to do about testosterone and my prostate. I am so very sorry. Luckily, though, I use this time for processing, which is just I talk about whatever happens to thump into my head at the time because I'm a talker. I've always been a talker. I've had to talk, 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 talk about things. Usually, I t if I have an issue, I talk about it with somebody until we've exhausted the conversation. I don't have that anymore. My housemates aren't big talkers, and when they do talk, it's got to be about the things that they're into. Otherwise, they're sometimes so they're even rude about it. So I've learned to not. Well, that was exciting. At 3 minutes 58 seconds, my webcam software locked up entirely. I had to kill it through the task manager. So now I'm starting again. So I have to remember to subtract 4 minutes from the time so that I don't go over 20. Yay. No, I can't. Uh, let's see. I was talking about, yeah, I, I, how I have to talk. I'm a processor. I've had to talk, 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 talk. And now, you know, with the brain damage that I've had from my alcoholism, my fibro fog, which makes it difficult to con concentrate in the slightest, I'm already forgetting things. And then the webcam locks up, so I have to kill it and then try to remember where the conversational breadcrumbs are. And this is after I turned on the computer. It's barely been on. And of course my software locks up. Yay. 
it's gonna be that kind of day. Yeah, because I woke up, ha, ah, that's right, I woke up in pain, that's right. When I went to bed last night, I had inklings of things might not be so good. Prostate issues, I wasn't sure about my bladder, my abdomen was feeling kind of sore and icky, but I was so tired and I didn't want to get up, I was hoping I could fall asleep, and so I did. But, it, before four o'clock, like 3.55 or so, finally my abdomen hurt enough that I woke up, had to head downstairs, take care of business. That's where my bathroom is. Got back up here and it was 4.15 in the morning. I was wide awake. I wasn't gonna go back to bed. If I went back to bed, I'd either just lay there hurting or fall asleep and then how long? 20 minutes? So it just wasn't worth it. I just stayed up. Excuse me. And then I actually had enough money that I walked down to the local store and I bought some... What is that stuff? It's the thin meat stuff. When... Lunch meat. It was lunch meat. I bought a couple things of lunch meat. They were 79 cents, so I bought three of them. Used up my money, but I came back and I made some lunch meat sandwiches and I ate those. Yum yum. So it's been a long, long morning and not a really good one because most of it I've been hurting. And then when I finally finished uh, eating my sandwiches, it was 10 after. And then of course, with no provocation at all, my software locks up, so yay. But yeah, I was originally talking about processing. I'm a processor. I have to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But I can't. My housemates aren't talkers, and I don't know anybody in life. So I've got you to talk to, and that's what I do with my vlog. I process, I talk, I ramble, just so that I can bubble sort my brain. Because on those days that I don't do such like this, I am lost. I do very poorly. My brain doesn't work properly. I can't think well. I sleep much more than I do even under normal circumstances. If I'm not processing and doing this sort of thing right now, I'd be asleep again and then wake up and fall asleep like every two or three hours. It's what used to happen when I lived in my brother-in-law's before I started vlogging in the morning time. It was insane. Once I started vlogging and bubble sorting, my brain came back, so thumbs up on that. I'm sorry that there's days when I have almost literally nothing to say, like today where most of the things I'm talking about were blasted out of my head by my software locking up. And yes, I'm that volatile, my mood is that volatile, where I'm actually doing pretty good right now. I'm irate, but under normal circumstances that would have been enough to deep six my mood into just the depths of depression for the rest of the day. Right now I'm just pissed off at my software and life and not depressed about my software and life. So I guess that's a good change. <laughs> Hopefully. There were all sorts of things I was hoping to talk about, of course. I mean, when I was walking this morning down to the store, I was thinking of all sorts of things. Like one of the things I've given up on life with is with AAA gaming. I've been a gamer my entire life. I mean, even <clears throat> when I was 12 and 13, back before there were video games, when Pong had just started coming out with a home set, people were making home Pong games. About the best you could find was Space Invaders in the arcades out in the world. There were no home computers, there were no consoles, so it was in my mid teens before they even came up with stuff like that. And then my father bought us Pong and then later on an Atari 2600 and then that was good. But in 1982, and I've told this story before but I'm just going to try and tell it quick for the people that are new. In 1982 I bought my first computer. It was a Commodore VIC-20 with, I think it comes with, it was either two, yeah I think it was two kilobytes of, of RAM. And then you could get expansion things to double that to like 4 kilobytes or 16 kilobytes. And that was not a very powerful computer, but it had fun games. But then a couple months after that, I upgraded and bought a Commodore 64. Still 1982. Since then, I have been a computer player 
sins forever after that. I mean, I bought a Commodore, like I said, the Commodore 64, but then after that, when the uh, Commodore Amiga came out, and I apologize for going up, when the Commodore Amiga came out, I bought an Amiga 1000, and then later on, an Amiga 500. After that broke in 1993, actually it broke afterward. For whatever reason, I had actually bought an IBM compatible in 1993 and that was my start of IBM compatible which is just now PC you know there's the PC and Mac and but back then all the things that would work with IBM stuff they were all IBM compatible clones and so you bought a clone or it was all IBM compatible stuff now of course like I said it's just PC because it's become the de facto standard after Mac, so thumbs up. But yeah, so since 1993, I've been playing on com the uh, IBM platform. That's the word. Sorry about that. Lost my mind entirely. And in the mid 90s, about 96, it was probably only a year or less than a year after the Dream, not the Dreamcast, after the PlayStation came out. I bought one of those. <clears throat> At first, I was unsure whether or not I wanted to get a Dreamcast. Why am I stuck on Dreamcast? A PlayStation or a Saturn? But then I made the right decision and bought a PlayStation. And since then, I've had a PlayStation, a Dreamcast, I got a Commodore 64, and a Commodore 64, a Nintendo 64, I got a GameCube. I've got all sorts of consoles as well as a 360, a PS2, a I used to have a PS3, it died. I got a PS4, and then I got an Xbox One. I got the 360. I got the original Xbox. I've been playing computer games massively since 1982. It's a good thing. Now, I've been playing Asu since, and I, just like the first time I played Cuphead, where I did really good, and then every time I've tried playing since, I've sucked. I have been practicing my best since that first time I played. Oh my god, I cannot get anywhere close to that again. I have, it's horrible, that's the only reason I haven't done another one. I am just terrible at it now. Talk about beginner's luck, that's two games now where I started off the first time, did great, and since then I can't do it to save my life. So as soon as I do halfway decent again, I'm recording, no fear. Oh gosh, it's 8.33, which means it's really 12 and some. So, if you type in the phrase, dentures are fun, into the comment section down below, you will be in the running for the game Killing Floor 2. Now, I'm pretty proud of the little graphic that I've got down there with the little phrase that I've got underneath. I've put in a different stupid phrase for that every single day. Nobody said anything. Has anybody even noticed that? That's like one day it was like, this time we have slogans, this time we're sushi, this time we're angry. It's like, uh, mm, hopefully people have seen. <laughs> but still, tomorrow I'm going to generate the random number and the winner of the key will get the key. And that's a good thing. So tomorrow we're going to find out who wins Killing Floor 2. A very good thing. Well, what I'm going to do is open up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab because I want to thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. Now, I'm not reading the comments yet. I'm gonna read the comments all after the video, after I make the videos. I'm going to thumbs up every one I read. I'm gonna answer as many as I can, but for right now, I just wanna thank 20 to 25 people. As a range, because with my fibro, I get lost, and I've seen myself count like one, two, three, four, seven, twelve. 12. So, yay on that. But I've got 24 hours open up worth, that was not English. Hopefully you understood what I meant. And if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I'm terrible at names. I'm an American English speaker. I'm better than a lot of people, but not wonderful. So I'm going to do my best. So there's like, it looks like Teresa O. Teresa O. Teresa O. I'm not sure. Thank you very, very much. And Supreme Kaj Kaguya. I sure hope. Thank you very, very much. Tour you. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. IDK, son of a gun. Thank you very, very much. Noob Toolbox, greatly appreciated. Sid Barrett, son of a gun. Good name for a, a poor man who died. Poor man is in, you know, the terrible things that happened to him. Explosion PVP, thank you very, very much. And Malorn Ashthorn, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Yuki Courtney Hampton. 
Hampton. There we go. Thank you so very, very much. Gamer Extremes. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. And Protein. Thank you. Greatly. Janelle O. Oh, son of a gun. Thank you very, very much. And The Boss Dude 9. Thank you very, very much. Juan Sykes. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. And Taprak Bang 88. Son of a gun. And then we have Claude5190. Good to see you in the comments. It's, it's good to see you after all this time. I really appreciate seeing your name. And Base PVP, thank you very, very much. David is white, is a cat tip? I don't know exactly what that means, but thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And then there is Stinger223, thank you very, very much. Alpha, well, XX, Alpha Gamer XX, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Shinobu, thank you. Hex Knives, greatly appreciated. 30, 30, the word 30, and then the number, digits, 30. Drogan Caspa, thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, Corey Fury, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It's a good thing. It's not a good mental landscape behind these eyes. So thank you very, very much. Well, I'm thinking I'm probably pretty close to the time of 20 minutes. Uh, that lockup just destroyed my sense of what time it actually is on there. Add four minutes to it, and it's like 17 minutes. So if you could check my links down below, that would be awesome. Greatly appreciated. I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. That would be very cool if you could check those out. My thanks to everybody who's donated to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron. You're all beautiful, awesome people. Thank you so very much. It's because of you. I have a roof over my head. It's cold and wet out there and no electricity and I don't want to die. So thank you very, very much. It is, it is appreciated. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon or come patron, that would be wonderful. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, that would be cool as well. I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very cool as well. But I do understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. If you do not like my videos, I understand. If you do not want to subscribe to the channel, I understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until, well, the literal end of my time. After all, I just turned 55 last month. The average lifespan of an American man is 74 years. That's 19 summers left. I'll be doing my darndest to keep you entertained through each one of them as well. So thumbs up on that. Oh, 14 plus, I couldn't even tell you what time it is on this one. So I'm just gonna have to call this one and, and hope that it's close. Wonderful of my software to lock up. I'm still irate about it. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. I've got a game video coming up. I've got a reaction video coming up. If I don't fall asleep, it's raining outside, so it's gonna be dark and raining noises. I bet you I'm gonna fall asleep here before too long. Plus I slept, we're not worth a darn, so boy. But hopefully I'll have a game video for my game channel. Yeah, fat chance of that. So you take care. I will see you on the flip side and you keep smiling because it can always get worse but it doesn't have to.